Nine presents Studio Nine. The 1853rd edition of In Melbourne Tonight, starring Graham Kennedy. studio audience realise that at this moment you are sitting in between 150,000 bricks, 35,000 tonnes of concrete, 3,000 tonnes of steel girders and two builders who didn't get out of the way in time. <laughs> You'll like it in here, especially, I know we will like it, but our studio audience will like it particularly because our air conditioning in this studio is quite unique. Our chief engineer, Rod Biddle, is responsible for the efficiency of our new air conditioning system. He comes down every 20 minutes and blows through the keyhole, <laughs> and it's working tremendously well. Another good feature of this studio is that we can fly scenery. Now, this means that with a series of ropes, we can drop in or take out scenery at a fantastic rate. It's as quick, and it all disappears up into the roof. Of course, you've got to let go, which reminds me, terrible thing happened yesterday, we've got the only prop boy in the world that knows what a television studio looks like from 2,000 feet up in the air. <laughs> he didn't let go and he went right up. Everyone here at Channel 9 is... <laughs> everyone here at Channel 9 is not laughing and... Uh, <laughs> now, we're all excited about the whole thing. Even the girls in the canteen are excited. They've been excited all day. They've been nervous. Well, I'll say they were nervous. Have you ever had a sardine malted? <laughs> anyway, the show has started, and I know I'm expressing the views of our board of directors when I say, it better be good. It better be good. It better be good and funny. It better be good. It better be worth the money.
for you and uh, I see it's time for the Heinz mystery cupboard but in this brand new set with stairs and poles and new furniture I don't know where the Heinz mystery oh it's up there it's on the first floor <laughs> Heinz mystery cupboard oh look at that <laughs> the Heinz mystery people didn't forget me they remembered because the very first night of IMT was on May the 7th 1957 yes it was and this was probably the well it was the second commercial I did for the Heinz company the first commercial was in a program called Susie one Easter and I was a I was an Easter bunny and that's a picture from that. That was, that was a few months before even IMT started. I think I was more attractive as a bunny than I was as a human. However, it's very good. So the Heinz people, I'm happy to say, have remembered. And although the show's changed, I've changed, everybody's changed. Heinz quality hasn't changed. And you can still get the, luscious, the same luscious flavor and quality in every can of Heinz soups. Now, there's all kinds to choose from, including mushroom, chicken, vegetable broths, all kinds. 22 and all. I could go on and name them all, but that would be a bit silly because we don't have that much time. Just remember that Heinz outflavors them all. Heinz is the best. Whether you choose vegetable soup, mushroom soup, any of them, you'll enjoy Heinz soups. Now I think we're to meet... Uh, Jeff Cork, but I don't know where he is. Let's try and find Corky. Oh, Jeff, you're up there. Good night. Well, that's, that's a pole for sliding down. If I'm up here, Jeff, and I have to get down quick, do you want to see me? I'm what? See you do this? Yeah. You know what you're doing. Well, it's, see, I'm up here, I and if right. I want to get down quickly, I slide down the pole. Do you want to see me? Oh, I'd like to see oh, you, but I'll I'll show you. It's wild. No, I'll show you. But you're... Hey? You're up there already. You could have gone up that other way. Yeah, well, you can't get to the pole from that angle, you see. Can't you? You sure you know what you're doing? Look, I, might do that, I might do that tomorrow night, I think. No, 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 no. It's there it's there for. Down the pole. Down the pole. Yes, yeah, safe as a church. No How many churches have you slid down? Not many this weekend. You? Oh! Just a bit of... I love it! Oh, yeah! Just a bit of Olympic uh, gymnast in you. Oh, yes, I... That was good, the way... You know, would you go up again? Eh? Up. Up the pole? Yeah, up, up the pole. So are you, Charlie. You... <laughs> Tell us about TV Week, Jeff. Can I? I wish you would. May I? May I tell you about TV Week? This week's TV Week, with a, an exciting photo, a very colourful photo on the very front of it, of uh, the folk from Ponderosa. And they also tell you about a, 
a very exciting new competition wrapped around Bonanza. You'll be able to read all about that in TV Week. It gives you a chance of a trip to Hollywood. As well as that, of course, you've got TV Week's usual up-to-the-date news flashes. The most interesting story here by Jack Ailing about Graham Kennedy, who wants a better joint or something. Graham's going to, Graham's going to open a restaurant. Yes. Uh, very, very soon. It says that all that here in TV Week. You can read about that. Then there's uh, stories about all the latest shows on TV at this time of the year, and there are many, many of them, too. There's This Week with Jack Ailing, in which you get into a bit of scandal and gossip and all that sort of thing with Jack's very fertile brain. Uh, then there's Smart Alec. That's Alec Martin, uh, who's a singer, as well as being a columnist. Uh, he's there. And as well as that, they probably have one of the most comprehensive uh, television guides that you could possibly wish to find anywhere at all. All in all, TV Week is great value. It always has been. It's been with us for so many years now. It's sort of part of the Victorian scene, isn't it? Part of the television scene in Victoria. TV Week, ask for it. It's only one shilling. It's out today. TV Week. This is the story that makes, this is the paper that makes TV stories, makes TV history. TV Week, ask for it. Order your copy. You'll be glad you did.